I'm extraordinarily proud of my youngest daughter for having a single-minded purpose that this is what she always wanted to do. What I should start with is that we went on an extraordinary adventure to the Belgian Congo, which was then called, just called Zaire, in 1972. Frances and her younger brother, Harry, and my husband and I went to Apulu in the rainforest in a village that was in conjunction with uh, the Mbuti pygmies. And Frances, age 17, immediately saw her purpose in life. She uh, was witness to her a native birth, and she thought, this is what I want to do. I want to be involved with women having babies. And she was single-mindedly uh, concerned with this and made it her career. She got into uh, Hampshire College in the first class, which is a real hard thing to do, graduated from Kirkland Women's College, which is extremely pro-women lib in those days. In fact, we thought we'd never get through graduation because all the uh, graduates had to talk about their own stories for so long that we were boiled in the sun and when will they stop? But this was women's lib, heyday. And she went right on to be a uh, enroll at Columbia College, and she just wanted it so badly, and she excelled in her lessons, and she is the most compassionate, lovely daughter you could have. I was amazed that somebody could be so dedicated so young. Her ongoing success and recognition by professionals I think there must be many, many wonderful nurses, but Frances was always kind of ahead of the class, if you want to call it that way. And she had the gift of compassion from her earliest little girl stage. She always took care of people. And this was just a life work. Not midwives, but my own gr grandfather uh, was a country doctor and founded the Chestnut Hill PA Hospital. In those days, the doctors visited the homes, and he was not only an uh, excellent doctor, medical-wise, but he, uh, he knew everybody's history. He knew everybody's uh, psychological problems and marital problems, and the old-fashioned doctor. And I think that this runs through my family, that uh, idea of what medicine is all about. All I know is that Francis suffered from many serious medical problems and she always put her, uh, her career ahead, not her career exactly, but her life's calling ahead of that. I remember once when she was in uh, the medical center, Columbia, not Columbia, but anyway, downtown medical center, and she was having serious depression problems. And I came to visit her, and it was a terrible locked ward kind of place. I came in to visit her, and she was kneeling by the side of her roommate's bed, who was a demented older lady, trying to help her put her slippers on. And Frances herself was so sick, but she reached out to this older woman must have been a difficult roommate, to say the least. 
and it it broke my heart with her always her compassion for others and she was a perfectly wonderful mother and wife if I could have said a perfect midwife I'm sure she was of course I was proud of her I love them I could tell which one I wanted and which one I didn't <laughs> and I shouldn't say that but you know you, you have a feeling for people yeah. and I loved most of them I knew that I wished I was how many years younger it would be now 50 <laughs> that I was having another baby no we were under the most awful medieval system then we didn't have any kindness or compassion or nobody had time they looked in they'd pick up a sheet and say oh you're not ready yet put the sheet down and leave the room and you were in a cubicle alone once I was having Francis and it hurt and I was going out out against the wall next to me in this little slot and uh, the nurse came in and said, you're just disturbing the person next door. What's the matter with you? She picked up the sheet and said, oh, your baby's coming now. <laughs> but we didn't get the help or the, you know, kindness. Truly, I am so super proud of my daughter for her dedication to the career and I hope this experiment with with the DVDs will be uh, put out in the world very useful and thank you <laughs>